just have to figure out how to get one win right now, and that's a game four win because you do not want to come home down 3-1 to this team. All right, guys. Well, with more on tonight's 5-1 loss, we welcome Razor in with tonight's Frontier post-game reaction. Razor, you said near the end of the broadcast you need amnesia in the Stanley Cup playoffs, right? But what do the Stars need to take away and learn from in this one? They're going to have to play harder to get interior on this wild team if they play their game. And they got to their game here tonight where their structure defensively was terrific, especially, especially like from the top of the circles to their net. There was just no room, no space, tons of blocked shots. They boxed out well. They, they have some big monsters in that area. And, you know, you can't carry a machete with you at this time of year to try to hack your way to the net. But they, they have to find a way to get harder and get there more consistently and then once they do that get pucks through uh to the front of the net because it was a it was a fairly breezy game for gustafson in net for them uh because of all that and then the cumulative a effect of of all the the body banging you know there's there's a mastication that comes with th that type of physical pounding that they brought in the first half of the game and really established some boundaries because of it and, and it was difficult for the Stars to get to their game. They, they need their power play. They need speed and finesse. And they could, they could never really find it in the game here tonight. Give the Wild a ton of credit. In their first game in front of their crowd, they played great. Uh, and the Stars are going to have to find a way to get A, harder in their zone when they're in there. And then, and then B, lickety split out of their own end and some speed and make them chase a little bit. They didn't make them chase tonight. Razor, talk a little bit about Dean Evison. He talked about this uh, this morning or the day before. The structure was there for his team, but it wasn't the the fight from his squad. He they really brought the fight to the stars. So the stars is it puck movement? Do they have to increase their uh, level of compete? What do you think it's got to be for the next game? Yeah, I, I think it all comes down to to legs and 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 skating. And with Dallas, they're a quick team when they move the puck well and they're connected to one another when they're doing it. And when it gets individual and uh, when they aren't moving their, their legs or can't because of some forechecking pressure or, or just the claustrophobia of, of the neutral zone, uh, then they're not going to be able to, to get to their game as much. And, you know, you, you look at the top line and uh, there's no question that uh, Rope Hints had their attention through the first two games and especially game two. I don't think he had a shot on goal tonight. He was great in, in the face-off circle, uh, but he didn't. He, he wasn't free roam in, in this one. And, you know, other guys are going to have to find ways to, to help out a little bit in, in that department. It can't just be Rope hitting the gas and, and their power play. So uh, I'm, I'm sure they'll talk over what they have to do five on five. Remember back to game one, the, the big conversation coming out of that from the Stars side of things was just not enough five on five. Yes, the, the power play was, was humming in that one in the double overtime loss, but not getting to the net, not getting interior, not testing their goaltender enough when they're playing at full strength. And it, it's a problem coming out of game three again. Razor, as always, thanks so much for your time. We look forward to chatting with you uh, pregame come Sunday.